Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Barton Power Sports, Sportsman's Warehouse, and Best Care Home Services. Hey, good Saturday morning on this uh, January the 13th, 2018. Talking outdoors on Outdoors with Larry Ray. Greg Ratliff is keeping us up. Well, that's an impossible job. I said keeping us straight, you know, but we do the best we can. Uh, we're such a boring group here. You know, we're we're all in. Uh, Greg's got on a bullet club. I'm worried. I'm worried what that T-shirt means. You know, I'm always I never know what he's, he's all dressed in black, you know, so I don't know what the man in black. But uh, we also have Ron Wong is here. Now, he does get up two times a month on Saturday. Good morning, everybody. Oh, that. it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood this he, Saturday. He really morning. hasn't been home yet. But, you know, I mean, he is uh, he's here. He's been night fishing down at Sardis on the ice. Uh, they're playing hockey down there right now. No, I think so. it's all good. And, of course, uh, John Gordon from Avery here, and I'm still raving about those waiters, except one thing, John, uh, they don't do good on ice. You know, I mean, uh, I hate to slide around, you know. Well, but they are comfortable. You know, I saw a picture recently, Larry, of, of real foot in the 40s. Guys were using ice skates to skate out to the blinds. Yeah, and that's but, something you wouldn't see these days. Well, at least they had on a coat, you know. They did. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ron, you got us another great guest here, and we're going to talk Blue Mountain Toppers. And you're going to say, right. why are you going to talk about Blue Mountain Toppers in Blue Mountain, Mississippi? Well, well they have a new coach down there. They have expanded their athletic department to not only include basketball and baseball and softball all the traditional and women's sports of that's course that's right and, and, and uh, they had to go a long way to find this guy you well know? they really did and and of course uh i think they got one heck of a coach here yeah let's talk uh, to they him. now have a new bass team down there and and the owner of hammer rods uh along with his family yes uh-huh shane cox good morning shane Good morning, guys. Hey, guys, Shane, let's talk about this, buddy. I know you don't have nothing else to do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you needed something else. Uh, tell our listeners a little bit how this developed, because I know your son uh, is, is, is going to there. He's going to be part of the team. But uh, tell us how a man who is so busy with uh, making one of the, the best rods out there and stays busy doing that and uh, – how did how did you become the head bass fishing coach at Blue Mountain College? Oh, uh, just lucky, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they they was wanting to form a team. Uh, they didn't know a whole lot about the college in. Uh-huh. They had never never really been around any college fishing, and and contacted me, and I tried to give them some pointers, and then they. We talked back and forth, and then the next thing I know, they asked me if I would help, and of course I'd be, you know, I was glad to jump yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. So I'm excited about it. Uh, well, I know it's not something you, you know, uh, you, where do you start? I mean, uh, <laughs> I mean, you got to have a boat. You know, you get. We know where you get your rods, but uh, how do you put together a team? Well, uh, I'm learning. Uh, the first thing I'm learning is you get to be a recruiter. You do, don't you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I'm learning a lot about that. Uh, and uh, we're starting. We're starting in March. That's our first tournament. And okay. We'll have you know two guys, one team. Uh-huh. Uh huh. My yeah. son and Alden Kill, a, a guy from down in South Mississippi. Uh-huh. And, uh huh. I've already signed some guys for next fall. That's going to be. Coming out straight out of high school to Blue Mountain next fall. I've already signed some guys to start next fall. Oh wow! So so you start with with the two, your son and this uh, other young man, and that's going to be the team starting in March, your first tournament. And you'll yes, sir. Uh, and you will uh, uh, y- y- you make a schedule. I mean, this is really uh, the, people think this is not easy to do. Uh, you know, I know there are certain people that have been doing it for a long time. Is Gary Mason, you know, I, I know how he used to start, and look where they've gone. So what's what's your ambition here? What's your goals, in other words, Shane? Oh, my goal is to have at least five teams when school starts back next fall. Wow. Okay. Five uh, two-man teams. Is that what you're saying? Five. I'd like to have five two-man teams. I would like to have ten, you know, ten guys, uh-huh. you know, commit, committed to fish and, uh 
if I could, you know, if I could get five teams when school starts back next fall, you know, it would tickle me. And these guys are on scholarship. They're going to get some money, right? I mean, uh, are they? Yes. Going to, all right. So, so Blue Mountain yeah. is, is this is this is cool, y'all. I mean, this is this this is really you know getting the young younger generation involved. And, and I have to tell you, my hats off to you, Shane, for. Oh, for yeah, taking yeah. on double hats, triple yeah, hats. Uh, for taking on well, thank this you. responsibility, and and to teach these young men not only how to fish, but how to become men in the future. Yeah, and 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 we already had earlier, like we said, uh, your son would. You guys are already having a thousand dollar scholarship to a high school uh, kid that wants to be into bass fishing, right? Didn't we? Yes, uh, that will be uh, that will be given to someone. Uh, I'm believing in March. Yeah, wow, that's, that's cool. what I thought. So you, so you, if you got ten players, at, uh, ten anglers, you're going to need five boats. And is way I, exactly I, right. I mean, I went to the fourth grade. I can figure that out. You're going to need at least five boats. So uh, did Ron learn? Did Ron? Did Ron learn you how to add? No, Ron. <laughs> Ron is Ron is still in graduate school. Okay, you know. Okay, uh, uh, we're working on the diploma now. But uh, so you have to reach out. You can't do this all by yourself. So you're looking no, for it's, it, people. You know, it, it takes a lot of work, a lot of a lot of different people involved. Yeah, and so in other words, if if we see or hear of uh, potential um, anglers that that would like to go to college to fish, we probably should be sending you names, right? If you see a guy that wants to go to college and fish, and wants to get some scholarship to fish, and wants to fish on a team that the school was. One hundred percent behind and gonna pay tournament expenses. <laughs> that, that, that's that's sit very, down, Ron. Really I told awesome. you your eligibility, well, your eligibility asked, is over. I know. I, mean, I asked Shane if uh, <laughs> I still had any. John, you got any eligibility left? I don't think so either. I don't uh, think you have any uh, eligibility left. No, no. Well, no. I mean, I, I could go to graduate, take some graduate courses, right? Yeah, you yeah. could at Blue Mountain. Yeah, I could get yeah. you down there. Yeah, I can. When I was a kid, why wasn't this stuff around? You know, uh, you I know. agree Back too. In, I would have loved it. Wouldn't you then? Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, and 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 I know the pros are taking into this because they've really. Well, uh, a lot of them are getting way be- behind all of this college and high yeah, school fishing. Yeah. It's yeah. an awesome thing, Shane. You know, not only are you doing that, but hammer rods. Let's talk you about you guys have come out with a new yep drop shot rod. Yeah, there you go. And it took drop you drop shot. It took you more than a year of testing and playing to get that right, didn't it? Yes, sir. We worked on that for about a year and two months. Yeah. Ooh, 14 months, Ron. I'm just checking to make sure you were tacking that on, too. <laughs> we're having class here at Blue Mountain College class. You know, we might get that scholarship for Ron over there, you know. Uh, uh, but, but, Ron, it's, but why did it take so long? Yeah, why did you take 12 months, uh, 14 months? Let me get my figures right. Why, you wanted to write Wait. We've done a lot of experimenting with different reel seats, different different grip configurations, different mm-hmm. guides. You know, uh, we tried a lot of different things, and and we put it, you know, put something together, and it would be good, but not exactly what we was looking for. And we just, you know, we waited till we figured out exactly how it needed to be. Uh huh. Oh, that's awesome. What sets this apart from the other ones, Ryan? I mean, you've uh, have you seen this? Well, rod or I, I have felt it. Uh, well, that's I, all you need. Um, Ron just needs to feel it something. It was uh, Shane was showing it at the Forestwood Cup last year. Uh-huh. Yeah. And uh, I have to tell you, first of all, the weight of the rod itself. Yeah. And the action of the rod. You know, for a drop shot, you really need a super, super sensitive, light, uh, fast extra fast action almost tip but enough backbone to set the hook uh, on some on some of the deeper lakes that you might fish where you're you're having to use three eighths ounce uh drop weight but uh what's this so rod weigh then what and it has wind grips on it oh i uh, love the wind grips yeah i have them on my golf clubs yeah you know so what what does this weigh what do you think? Oh, is, that that rod is less than three and uh, four ounces. This come is on, like the three and a three and a half ounce category. Right. Come on, yeah. Is that? Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> six six foot nine inches. Great, great rod, and uh, that's just that's amazing. Why can't you get a, a a decoy that weighs that, John Gordon? Why can't we get a lightweight decoy? Well, you can. It just uh, blows it all it over. Just, 
you know, and it, and the the water kill decoy used to be very popular. It uh, did back yeah. in the day, and uh-huh. it just uh, a lot of folks have gotten away from it. I think because of really the the, the real surge in UTVs and and not having to carry decoys as far as you, as you know used you do to. When I was a kid, I used to carry them all over the place. Well, see, Ron has eighteen thousand uh, rods in his house. <laughs> you know. Each and, room is numbered by how many rods are in it, but uh, and always wanting more. Well, the, this one though is is Shane has said you said uh, uh, so. Is this out? Oh, well, is it out now? Well, well, can we get our hands on a rod that weighs less <laughs> less than what? What'd less than four less, ounces. It's, yeah, it's less than four ounces. It's in the three and a half inch range. So where yeah. is it? Is it available now? Yes, it's available now. Okay, so where do they get it? Online. They, they can get it at www.hammerrods.com, uh, Tackle Warehouse, Tackle, tackle Warehouse. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. All and, right. And a lot of the local dealers throughout the whole Mid-South, I mean, Shane, you've done a great job in yeah. getting yeah. a yeah. lot of local dealers, mom and pop stores especially. Is it Primary Tackle? Is it at Primary Tackle? I don't know uh, if they're at primary, primary, yet primary or... tackle is a dealer. I am not one hundred percent sure if he has any of the drop shot rods. Uh, we'll ask uh, David best. We, just to see. I will. I will go, yeah. make sure I touch base with David and uh, yeah, get you set up. Yeah, we're just uh, happy to have you on, Shane, on this uh, weekend, and we love to talk fishing and in this lovely weather we're having and everything. And I want to say another thing about the, the Cox family is that. Uh, I, they never, they don't say no very many times when somebody needs help or needs something. That's right. Uh, these guys of uh, the family itself is uh, I don't know how many rods he's donated, but he, I know he he's, he has a place to go hide when he sees people coming because uh, they're all out there because the rods are so good. And so I just want to say thank you, Shane, and and the family for what you do for the community. I know you're gonna. I have a personal uh, relationship with uh, Blue Mountain College and that uh, my, one of my wife's best friends graduated there. I've got a great niece that graduated there, and I, I think it's it's going to be really good. We want to keep up with you. Okay, buddy? Yeah, thank you all very much. I appreciate it very tell, much. T- tell your family, uh, tell, tell that wife to keep sending out that information, okay? We'll do it, bud. She, she can do it. All right, thanks. Go Toppers. Uh, toppers, yeah. <laughs> we'll see you, Shane. Let's take a break on Outdoors with Larry Ray. Come right back and... Now we can talk waterfowl. That's right, oh, Larry. Up up to there. talk waterfowl. You know, talk. you know, Ron gets to monopolize with the fishing all the time. <laughs> uh, well, we're going to change that now that y'all are, uh, you know, we, we, no, we're not going to change it. We're going to try to balance it, you know. But uh, we had Steve McAdams. We had you. And, and I'm always bringing it in. I, you notice I even worked in uh, uh, decoys into a fishing segment. You did. Uh, very, I don't very know good. how I did very it. Good. I'm not sure if I did it right or not. Ron didn't notice it. But, uh, yes, he I did. I was going to make mention of we got about a carbon fiber decoy, it's lightweight, you. float high, you lots do. of action. I don't know. Well, no. At the expense, might be. Well, it'd bit, be a little. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be that. That would be an expensive. I mean, six of those calls. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Six, six, of six pack would be a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna. You're talking a thousand dollars. Yeah, I'm not talking at all. All right, let's take a break. We'll be right back on Outdoors with Larry Ray. Right? 